gambling in all my life. They bet on drinking, bug eating, you name it. But the big thing's cockfighting. You ever seen it? No. Barbaric sport, if ever there was one. They tie razor blades to the bird's legs, then set them loose in a tiny cage. They tear each other to shreds. I asked a young boy once, why do you love seeing the birds fight so much? What's so good about gambling? Do you know what he said? What? He said, we gamble because we know in the end there'll be a winner and there'll be a loser. And in that, at least, there'll be answers. So what's this got to do with Charlie? You think she's a bird? No, she's a razor blade strapped to the bird's leg. And when the feathers stop flying, there'll be answers. Now let's go. All this chicken talk's making me hungry. Robertson. Constable. All right, well, that needs to be sent to the lab ASAP. Incidentally, what colour is it? OK. Once the new marina is built, tourism will boom, which will result in more jobs, greater prosperity and greater security for our kids. If, however, my opponent wins the seat, what you can almost certainly look forward to is an increase in rates, because that is how she intends to pay for the promises she is making. That, combined with diminishing job opportunities and less means to attract business and families to the bay. The bottom line is this. We need this marina. And you need people in council with the vision to see it through. So it's as simple as that. A vote for me is a vote for Summer Bay. Thank you. Gentlemen, we've all heard from Mr. Palmer. We've all heard about his plans to redevelop the marina. Just show us your moves. Oh, you keep your dirty comments to yourself. This is a serious debate. As I was saying, while the new marina may be good for some, what about those who don't stand to benefit? What about the playground and the community centre? They'll be bulldozed to make way for the new yacht club. And so far, I haven't heard any plans to rebuild. Why, ladies and gentlemen? because my opponent has no plans to rebuild these crucial community services. While it's all very well to talk about attracting new business and growth opportunities, but if we have no infrastructure, how in the world are we supposed to support all these people moving to Summer Bay? Here, here, love. I can promise continuing access to essential services, as well as developing our existing sports grounds, as well as beach facilities. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I'll tell you what else is hot, mate. My policy is on full sewage access for all those residents that live along the creek. I say there's plenty of room for growth in Summer Bay. But let's fix our existing problems and build on solid foundations. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the way forward, and that is what you get if you vote for me. Watson. It still amuses me to say that. Makes me feel a little bit like Sherlock Holmes. What is it, sir? I need all this bagged and put into evidence. The forensics are on hold for you, line two. Don't go anywhere just yet. Robertson speaking. Okay, that's pretty much what I expected. Yes, I'll get back to you. Change your plans. We've got to go and ruin somebody's day. Sorry. What you do in this world is a matter of no consequence. The question is, what can you make people believe that you have done? Sherlock Holmes. Very apt. You don't mind bagging the evidence, do you? We'll leave you to it. OK, but Rubes, if you're worried or upset, then come straight over. Yeah, I will. Bye. How is she? Oh, it's hard to tell. Well, she went to Martha's debate, so I guess she's trying to get on with things. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't go there myself, actually. No, I didn't get there either. But Ruby thinks Martha won, so that's good. Well, should we go to the surf club now? So congratulations. Thanks. 
You've already suspended me. You just turned my house upside down. What is it now? This time it's about you. Charlie Buckton, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Grant Letko. Next time on Home and Away. Maybe I'll see you after lunch? Sure. Is it just me, or has he been lying to me about a lot of things? Fair income. With that bloke, I can't keep up. In regards to my feelings for you, I've been absolutely genuine. So that makes it okay for you to lie to my son? That's the thing with conspiracies. It's all funny until someone gets hurt. I've just arrested Charlie Buckton for the murder of Grant Bledco. His sister is looking good on conspiracy to commit murder. Interview with Charlie Buckton at 5.59pm. You allowed your daughter to provide a false alibi for you. You, of course, have no alibi. I don't need to go on. I'm charging you with lots of stuff. If you miss an episode of Home and Away, you can catch up. Go to yahoo7.com.au slash TV. Yahoo!